Flint's new music leader. We are at Club 937. What's going on? It's Artemis. Uh, always uh, interested to talk to people who are doing positive stuff in the city of Flint. Obviously, uh, you know, ever since I moved here, the uh, water crisis has been glooming over the city, and uh, a lot of people outside of Flint seem to think that there's nothing going on positive in the city and that's why I wanted to get Chris McLavish in the building what's going on man how are you I'm doing alright how you doing man? I'm good man uh, one of my uh, friends here had mentioned your name said that you were doing some positive stuff in the city so I wanted to bring you through and talk about uh, CMB what does CMB stand for uh, CMB is Chris McLavish basketball okay um, it, I actually just started it I wanted to use the, the platform through basketball to create some positive opportunities um, for kids and then expand from the basketball aspect of it to anything that you can think of any opportunity under the sun right um, we're actually creating a ton of different things right now so yeah, a lot of good things for kids so let's go right back to the beginning uh, when did you find your love for basketball uh, I started playing basketball when I was five six years old okay um, and it was something that you just gravitated towards uh, yeah it was definitely a passion at an early age uh, I was extremely competitive young mm -hmm. um, so it was just a way for me to uh, you know release all my energy that I had as you know a young active boy right um, and it was something I loved doing. Now, now, where did you grow up at? Uh, I grew up in the city of Flint. Okay. Um, so, uh, at an early age, I went to Kersley High School. Okay. I mean, Kersley Schools. Mm -hmm. And then I actually went to Flint Northwestern. Started okay. my sophomore year. And that's where I graduated from. So, you have a, a strong history in Flint, then, to say the least. Like, this is where your roots are located. Oh, yeah. I actually started playing basketball. Uh, the first league that I played in was at, uh, I played for Wilkins. Okay. Um, and it was, uh, I was eight years old. I played in the 10 and under division. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I've been heavily um, deep into the inner city Flint yeah. from, from a very young age. Now, what made you decide to start CMB basketball? And, and this is something that just started recently then, correct? Yeah, we actually started, I started it last uh, May. Okay. And um, I always wanted to do it ever since, you know, I came back from uh, college. I went to the University of South Alabama. Um, in, in everybody's life, you have your ups and downs, and you're really trying to find yourself um, and find your path. Mm -hmm. um, so it was always in, in the back of my head to say, you know, I'm going to give back um, because I didn't, you know, fulfill my dream with what I wanted to do. Yeah. Just because of uh, poor decisions that I made. So I had to eliminate, you know, all the negatives out of my life and really focus on being positive. Um, so it, it was probably about eight years of planning. And, and getting myself away from certain elements and certain people um, and certain groups mm -hmm. to understand how positive and, and, and where I needed to go to change my inner circle to be right. able to do this. And now you're doing something to where you, you plan to change the city or at least the outlook on the city. And, and that's one thing that I really appreciate because, uh, you know, you can find a lot of things positive and something negative. You know, you look at the city of Flint and it really does have like this dark cloud over mm -hmm. it as a city that is nothing but murder, drugs, and bad water, yeah. you know. Um, and that's why I appreciate people like you coming in and talking about, you know, things like CMB basketball. So with this with this program, let's go in depth on the actual program. What are your goals and ambitions and, and what is the, uh, uh, you know, the basics of it? Okay. Um, first, I want to touch on something else that you said that was very important about you know the negative the cloud that's over the city of Flint mm -hmm. um, we've got an unbelievable amount of talent that is here in the city and has been here for years yeah um, so one of the things um, through basketball that I've always learned is I wasn't always as athletic as everyone else right you know I was a little white kid that you know was in the inner city playing against really athletic kids so I always took my hard work ethic um, you know to heart and I always took the in any negative situation I always looked at a positive aspect you know to, to intertwine into my life right um, so with that being said you know my goals and my vision with CMD basketball is to start a, a program through basketball mm -hmm. um, to be able to help kids number one learn the life skills through a sport because in, regardless of whatever sport you play or whatever you're passionate about there's there's life skills that are learned yeah um, you can actually be extremely successful later on after the ball stops uh, you know bouncing mm -hmm. whether it's whatever sport you know you go into the professional world and you got to deal with managers it's like a coach you got to yeah. deal with executive directors however you go as you move up in the corporate world or in life um, everything's not going to work out the way that you want to yeah so the adversity that's faced in front of you you got to figure out hey you can either let that dictate what what you're going to be as a person mm -hmm. or you can say you know my golden dream is to do this and i failed once 
but now I'm going to take the positive out of it and make sure that I achieve my goal and my dream. And I think what you said was a really good point about when you look at like a team and a coach, it's just like that and work. Like I look at my coworkers as we're all on the same team mm -hmm. and, and then you have your manager, which is a coach. And yeah. then, you know, so that, that, that was a great way to put it. Now, as far as CMB basketball goes, if, if people want to get more information, uh, where do they go? And also, where is this all going to be taking place at? So for now, um, we, we've started, we, we partnered with uh, Cathedral of Faith Church. It's the old Gundry Elementary. Mm -hmm. um, a heavily, a heavy supporter is uh, Pastor Martin. Um, so we do a lot of our uh, programs there with our travel teams. Um, to find out more information, you can go to our website at cmbbasketballtraining.com. We also have a Facebook page, CMB Basketball. Um, you can call also, you know, the telephone number is on the website. We have so much um, planned um, for the next couple years. So right now we don't have a physical location that we're just uh, strategically staying at. Mm -hmm. um, we're in the works of actually purchasing a facility okay. or building a facility here in the area that's going to offer um, after-school programs, uh, educational programs. Uh, my biggest focus is to make sure that we have leaders in the community. Yeah. So uh, to have the leadership program, to have the academics to make sure that they're academically eligible yeah uh, not just for a, a sports scholarship but for an academic scholarship is going to be huge for our area too definitely i think that i think that you know you kind of made a couple points that that really show not only how big this city is even though you know people can look population wise and say oh well it's dropped and you know mm -hmm. homicides and that but it, when you look past that and you when you really look at the core of the city and who has come out of the city as a as a either a famous athlete, you know, a musician, an artist? It's crazy how that gets downplayed so much. And I think, uh, you know, you starting somewhere with a, you know getting kids scholarships and getting them into programs is something that's going to really benefit. I want you to come in, uh, you know, once a month and really update us on this because it's something that that brings a positiveness to the city that that isn't seen a whole lot. Right. Um, if people want to get in contact with you again, it's it's on the website CMB Basketball. Yep, sambybasketballtraining.com. You can also call 810-553-8079. Uh, we're open all the time. We're never closed. Awesome. Um, so, yep. There you go, Chris McLavish, CMB Basketball. Uh, we're going to have you in again soon, man. Uh, I appreciate all the positive stuff you're doing for the city. Thank you. Yep, no problem. Thank you.